Hello and welcome back to the Ultra HD Gamer, and this is a guide on how to load games onto your TI Inspire CX2 CAS, and well, the CX2 also. So the first thing you need is your calculator, and I have it right here. And the second thing you need is a mini USB cable that should come with your calculator. Uh, this is a mini USB cable. And the third thing you need is a laptop that's connected to the internet, or well, a computer. Uh, running Windows or uh, Mac OS. I'm not sure if Chrome OS works on it or Linux works on it uh, because I have not tried it. I have not tried Mac OS 2, but um, the uh, TI website says that it works, so I'm assuming it does. I didn't see any um, installation um, downloads on the website for Linux or Chrome OS, so I'm assuming it's not uh, compatible with that. But you also need to uh, have it connected to the internet so that you can download the software uh, that's needed to connect with your calculator since if you just plug it into your USB um, into your USB on your computer um, it won't recognize it you need to install the software for it to recognize uh, I'm doing it one-handed so that's kind of painful and as you can see I have Minecraft on it right now a 2d version of Minecraft with very shoddy controls because I do not know how to play it on an Inspire and as you can see I just went onto the website right there I'm gonna actually pause the video and uh, try to connect it in a less painful manner so you need to go to the uh, TI Inspire website or the TI website and you need to go to downloads and all software and apps and that's going to take a little bit of time. Right here you have to install a TI CX student software um, or you can just do the C CX student software 38 day trial if you don't have the, the product key for it. I'm assuming that'll also work too, it just won't be permanent. And um, here it is, it's for the Macintosh DMG file, an EXE or MSI file uh, for Windows computers. I did that last night. I don't really want to go through the installation again. It's not hard, but I'm just lazy. And as you can see, uh, I installed the EXE file. That's 367 megs, but I mean, that's not that much uh, in terms of uh, storage wise. And yeah, that's all the software. So you just press the download for the EXE for Windows and if you have a Macintosh you choose the Macintosh version. I'm assuming this is 64-bit only because it doesn't have a 32-bit option and uh, everything uses 64-bit now uh, and I mean this is fairly new too this is um, the CX2 which came out in like 2015 or 16 I don't even know um, but that's still fairly new that's way after uh, when all computers went to like mainly 64-bit and the next thing you do is you go through the installation of your CAS software I have it open right here and um, I was trying to install another uh, piece of software into the calculator to get doom running but that doesn't work but uh, what you need to do is well get it up to here and connect your calculator so I have it connected by the USB. It's not going to recognize it if you go to uh, File Explorer. You have to have this specific software for it to um, uh, connect with the calculator. But as you can see, it does connect. You go into that calculator, you press it, and you have your files. I just double clicked and, well, I opened something else. And you can just navigate through your files and put in your games. So the next website you need to go to to install the games is the um, uh, httpscalplex.com. I'll send a link down uh, in the description because I'm too lazy to actually say it. But you can have uh, many games on this, uh, one being Pac-Man, another being 2D Minecraft, which is on that calculator right now. And um, I'm just going to go through all the games. It's going to give you a TNS file, and you just drag and drop it into the calculator file system. And these games are actually fairly small, the biggest one being about 200 kilobytes, a little more, a little less. So, yeah, it's not going to be that much. Um, 
So yeah, you have a pretty good uh, game library if you just download the whole thing. You can also download uh, math programs. So you can uh, download quadratic equation solver, radical simplifiers, um, complete the square, and base converters. Just a whole bunch of stuff, which is pretty cool too. And I would assume that it's it would be very useful in some cases. But uh, the game the game downloads are much cooler. And I will send the links to both websites uh, in the description, so it'll be fairly simple. And all you need is a Windows computer or a Macintosh, and um, your calculator, a mini USB cable, and you're all set. And then when you um, load the program onto there, it'll say it has loaded onto a calculator. I'm just going to get a math program because I didn't really uh, get any on the calculator. I'm just going to use it to demonstrate how to um, how to uh, put it onto the calculator. So you have to go to downloads and this is how you um, go to the um, file explorer, go through your files on the computer uh, through the CAS student software. So you go to downloads and I actually have to move it. So yeah, that's nice because Firefox puts it in temp and that's kind of annoying. I'm really too lazy to find a fix. Well, actually all I would need to do is um, uh, move the download directory in Firefox. But now it's in uh, downloads and most of the time it should go to downloads, especially if you're using Chrome or any other web browser other than Firefox. But uh, you have to go just look for the name of the file, or you can type it, and it should be on there. Actually, I probably have to reload it. Yep, there it is. And this is your file system on the calculator. You just drag and drop it. Onto your cal into your calculator uh, file system, and it will say this if you have like successfully transferred the application, and you just press OK. I'm gonna show you how to go to it. So I'm going to leave this. And then you have to go to uh, browse through your file system, and these are your documents. And here you go, you have your applications. And I made other documents too. But most of the time it would be going into My Widgets. Well, if you put it into the My Widgets folder, which is what I should have done with these applications, but uh, with Minecraft and the Quadratic Formula um, solver, but I didn't. But uh, yeah, this is the guide to how to put games and applications on tier TI. Uh, inspire CX2 CAS or CX2. I'm pretty sure that's fairly similar. And um, that's about it for this video. Hopefully you have fun on your on your calculator when you're taking a test because you know you're going to fail it and you just want to have some fun. And uh, I, I'm just going to say good luck, have fun, and hopefully you enjoyed this video while I rambled a little bit and uh, talked pointlessly. But um, that's just what I do. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please like this video and subscribe to my channel for more. I'm sorry this isn't a really technical video, which is what I like to do usually. I haven't really made many videos in quite some time. I will when I have time. I don't really have that much time right now. But uh, thanks for watching and bye.